is new comic book day. Uh, we'll start off with Doomsday Clock. By Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. Everyone's been waiting for it for a long time. So long that they have to go back and read everything all over again. Uh, I'm still very excited for it. Uh, I think it's awesome. Uh, there's a lot of mixed opinions. A lot of people aren't too crazy about it. I think mostly because of the wait, all the delays. Uh, but I'm always stuck for every issue. Um, usually I remember most of the stories. If not, go back and read a little bit. Uh, next is Justice League Dark. I ran out of uh, bags and boards, which is very unfortunate. I can't hold anything. <laughs> That's the regular cover. There's the variant, which is really nice. So I have Teen Titans, newest one. Also with the uh, Lobo's daughter, Crush. Her first true appearance, I guess. The last one was a cameo, apparently. There's the variant cover, which is really cool. I was uh, pretty bummed I couldn't get my hands on the Crush variant. Um, it was just kind of like her different designs and different sides. Uh, I think it was mostly all black and white also. But uh, yeah, I tried to like order it on the Comic, Comic Hub app and uh, said it, you know, it had one on holds. But I didn't really think it would be because I didn't think my boss, or my, not my boss, <laughs> my uh, uh, local comic book store owner um, would have one or two. Uh, but yeah, so I asked him about it when I got there and someone else had one. They, they got it. So kind of a bummer, but maybe I can hunt one down. As far as I know, last time I checked, like an hour or two uh, on eBay, I didn't see any. So we'll see if they start popping up. Got Action Comics 1001, Brian Michael Bendis. I have not been enjoying it very much. Um, it's been off and on. I enjoy some parts, but for the most part, I don't. Here's the variant cover, uh, which is really nice. By uh, Mac. Dude's really cool. I like his watercolor stuff. Um, I think uh, he's going to be doing the Superman variants as well. Um, so that kind of makes me want to buy them, is just for those variant covers. There's also another variant, which I think is very nice. It's super cool. Um, we got Detective Comics, variant cover, which is pretty sweet as well. Sorry if I can hold something still for a second. This lighting's kind of, looks a little too bright sometimes, so sorry if I can, I'm having trouble getting it. Uh, One Woman, number 51. It's a art germ variant, I believe. Super nice. Yeah, it is. Art germ variant. Actually, that's not even a variant. It's an original cover. This is the variant, which is sick. Um, so both are solid covers. You can't go wrong buying One Woman this week. Next is a uh, Flash variant cover. It is... Uh, I believe the prologue, the end, the last issue was the, the end of the Flash War, so this one's kind of like the aftermath. There's probably a lot of nothing that goes on, <laughs> but the cover sweet. Mateen is awesome. We've got Aquaman number 38. Um, it's been really good. I've been really enjoying Aquaman. Uh, apparently, they're going to get a, a new rider soon, which I'm not too excited about. A lot of people are excited about it, but I've already been enjoying Aquaman, so kind of wished uh, you know, it would stay the same because I enjoy it. <laughs> Uh, but things change, uh, you know. Um, I guess the next storyline is the uh, Suicide Squad kind of fall or rise of Atlantis. Uh, but it should be cool. I'm going to get it. Here's the variants cover, which I think is pretty sweet. I believe, uh, what's his name? Oh, I forgot his name. <laughs> uh, Middleton, I believe. Yeah, Middleton. Digi does the uh, the Batgirl variants, and he did uh, my favorite Catwoman Batman 50 variant, which is really cool. Here's uh, Green Lanterns variant cover, which I think is very similar to the one last week. So similar that uh, I had to look over my stuff, make sure I didn't have it already. Um, 
but yeah, still pretty cool. Uh, Hellblazer 24. Uh, finally, the last issue, I believe, of the Good Old Days storyline. It's been like eight, seven or eight issues or more than that. Here's the variant cover. So, I don't know why it says 31 today. Maybe he's 31, I have no idea, but he looks really old. He doesn't look really old, but he looks older than 31 is what I should say. Uh, terrifics. It's been really enjoyable. Infinity Wars Prime. Pretty excited about this. I read the little preview from a little free thing, a little Marvel previews thing from last week. And it was really cool. It's some kind of humorous. Uh, so um, I'm excited for that. Also, here's the variant cover with Thanos. Just walking on skeletons. Got Venom issue four. Pretty excited to read that. Got Home for Wolverine. Mystery in Madripoor. Look at issue three. Yep, issue three. Here's the variant cover. I'm still buying all these. Almost over. Old Man Logan, issue 44. Uh, this is part two with him against Bullseye. And I think it ends this issue. There could be another one coming with Bullseye, I'm not sure, but last issue was really fun. X23, issue two. Uh, I really enjoyed issue one a lot. That was a lot of fun. I thought it was a great continuation of uh, pretty much where uh, the last rider rode off. It wasn't that much of a change or that hard of a transition that went pretty smoothly. Um, so yeah, if you like all new Wolverine or all different, all new, I think it's all new Wolverine, uh, you'll probably like X23. Um, and so now they're battling it up uh, with. Uh, Emma's clones and our Frost clones, so a bunch of clones on clones. Punisher, I believe this is the last issue with him in the Iron, uh, or not Iron Man suit, with the uh, um, War Machine <laughs> outfit. Pretty sure that's the last issue with him wearing the War Machine outfit. And then after that, I believe the next issue is like Punisher number one. So that's going to be pretty sick because it looks really good. Century, issue two. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, I like Jeff Lemire a lot, so I'm excited for that. Thing vs. Human Torch. Uh, that cover's pretty cool. Just like, uh, I forgot the name of that famous painting that's based off of. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, Moon Knight, issue 197. It's been pretty cool. Multiple Man issue two. This cover is pretty neat. Um, I like they're all thumbs up and one thumbs down in there. Actually, it's the opposite of what I said. Sorry, I'm half asleep. Uh, Star Wars Lando Double or Nothing issue three. I've been enjoying that. And then also I found uh, Champions vs Alpha Flight, Champions issue twenty one, the first appearance. Of, uh, was it Snowbird? <laughs> Is that her name? <laughs> I forgot her name. Doesn't matter. But I was excited to find that. Um, probably the coolest thing I got this week or today is this Christian Ward Barbarella variant cover. It's just uh, a virgin cover as well, which is beautiful. Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty sick. I think one, it's like, I don't know. I think I might want to get this one slabbed up. So nice. Uh, I'm very excited for Bone Parish from Boom. Uh, if you're not familiar with Bone Parish, I think it takes place in New Orleans and there's like a new drug going around and uh, it's made from the ashes, I believe, of uh, the deceased. So all these people that are taking the drugs start seeing like ghosts and demons or the paranormal stuff and I think they start murdering people and it just sounds awesome but yeah it's by Colin Bunn super stoked for it I've been looking forward to it um, for a long time so that's probably one of the first things I read here's the variant cover which is pretty cool um, and then I think this one is probably my favorite 
variant cover as well. Uh, yes, it's pretty gnarly. This back cover is kind of cool too. These have the same? No. No, that's the only one with the cool back cover. But yeah, I was excited to have this. Um, I wish I could have been able to buy more than one. Um, also, I'm very excited for A Walk Through Hell, issue three. I thought uh, the last issue, last two issues were insane. So I'm very excited to see where that goes. Next is uh, Pestilence, The Story of Satan, issue three. Issue two was crazy. Um, it just had like the devil screwing this priest dude and like just madness. Um, it's super graphic, super bloody, um, and yeah, it says like for mature readers only, so you know, don't let your kids buy this. <laughs> don't let your teenagers buy it either. Um, Dark Horse, American Gods, My Anzo. Uh, pretty cool. And this is the variant cover. Pretty nice as well. It's um, also from Mac. The dude who did the Superman and Action Comics uh, watercolor variant covers. And then lastly, I got Harbinger Wars, uh, the pre order edition, uh, issue three. And Harbinger Wars has been really good. I've been surprised. Um, a lot better than I thought it would be. Uh, also, in our store, they gave us this really cool, big, huge uh, Infinity War movie poster. Like, it's gigantic. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to unfold it all because I don't want to fold it back up <laughs> at this moment. But yeah, I thought that was super cool. They're just giving it away. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. And I'm not sure if you guys picked this up last week or two weeks ago. Uh, apparently, behind the scenes edition of Main Spider Man number one, you know, it was free at the counter. Uh, you know, the sketches are awesome inside. Apparently, they're going for a good penny on. Uh, on eBay as well, that's what I heard. <laughs> so if you see one, pick one up. And I think that's it. Alright, we're done here. Bye.